Hi, so this is a short film. It's just, well, the last one sucked. And I, as I was filming, I just thought, what's the point? Like, it's hot and I'm tired and I really don't want to do this. So unfortunately, you will hear Van on because I'm afraid that's the only way I can do this. I... <sighs> Sorry. Anyway, um... The answer of the continuing from what happened on my last show from Not Strange Things to one before that uh, will we'll hopefully get answered one day. But for now, here is the short film that I promised you. Enjoy. God, Adam, this sucks, this does, right? You have, like, our character name in, in the short film title and nothing's appeared yet. Like, what? Explain this. Yeah, that's kind of basically my fault because, well, I wanted to... I just wanted to show the people, hey, what happened after the Star Wars one because that's what I teased at the end of that. Because now they're going to have to wait until... I feel a bit more okay and feel less tired to do that, hopefully less hot. Or we can try and find a way to make it less hot and still do it. But I thought of ways, but yeah, I'm sorry, so that's why we're doing this instead. Okay, okay. Alright then. Um, so, I guess, well, considering that we are a couple of days before all of that Star Wars stuff happening, um, something has actually happened recently. Like, what No. Well, apart from Callie being kidnapped and Steph is still, still trying to find her, um, there's been some dark power source coming from, uh, coming from outside. I don't know what it is, but could you just come and have a look? Yeah, sure, sure. See, well, I tell you, dark magic. Yes, I do see. But, um, you do realise that this dark magic that's in one of us humans, we can't really take it. What do you mean we can't take it? Like, we'll die if, we, if that gets into our body. Yes, that's what I mean. If that gets into our bodies, then one of us will die or hopefully be injured for a very long time or out conscious. But, um, yeah, I'm going to contact Bruce Wayne to see what we can do about this. I'll be back in a second. Oh, and don't do anything stupid when I'm gone. Okay, all right. Ugh. Wow, I feel more powerful. Let's see what these pals can do. Um, so. Would you like anything to drink today? Oh, um, no thank you, sir. Oh, I'm getting a call in. Hello, Adam, how can I help? Yes, hello, Bruce. Um, I was just wondering if you could help me with something. I've got this dark magic out there, and the nerd's saying it's from the first enemy of the Power Rangers, like the old ones. Is there a way that you could actually um, help me or give me some info? Yes, well, I can tell you some information about that. The dark magic that you are seeing out there at the moment can get infected to anyone if they're still standing by. And also, other, the one thing is that to destroy this dark magic, you need a power range of sorts, so you can trap it and then destroy it. But it also comes from not just that, but from another thing. It comes from a human being who has the dark magic, and when, it, and when the human dies, the dark magic travels to the other person looking for the next victim but I feel like you should destroy it I will send over the information I will as soon as possible you may want to go and check up on your friend the nerd yeah. uh. okay uh, thank you Bruce alright 
Hey, no, you all right? I'm okay, Adam, but in a minute, you won't be. No, don't you? You sure you're okay? You, you've got stuff coming out of you, you have. And, wait a minute, God's sake, you've been affected, haven't you? Oh, yes, I have. Have I? They tell me to kill you. Is it me, Adam? Or, is it getting a bit hot in here? No, what are you doing? Stand back, no, I don't really want to do this. Hey, um, Scott. Yeah, well, you're oh my goodness. Yeah, no, you need to just think about what you're doing for a sec. What do you want me for? I need you to hold the gun was I go and try and get that Power Rangers help and try and get him here a bit more faster and if that doesn't work I'm calling John I am can you hold this gun for me? Um, okay sure it's just I've never really hold the gun where do you want me to shoot if if he tries to kill me? Down on the legs right no, we don't really want to kill him unless he tries to kill this whole area, if we can, fight him, anyway, I'm going to contact him, I won't be long. Okay, then please, just hurry up. Thank God Shane and Hannah are not here to see this. Hey nerd, you don't look alright. Well, you wouldn't be, if you are having to shoot someone in the leg, which is your best friend. Please don't kill me. Oh, come on, get through. Oh, hi, yes, um, are you on your way? Yes, I am on my way, I'm just walking up to your house right now. Oh, that's amazing, oh, I can see you. Okay, all right, get here quick. So, um, Adam, what seems to be the problem? Why do you need me here? Well, the reason is, is that the nerd has been infected with, infected with some dark magic. Could, could you just come and sort that out, please? Okay, then, so where is this no Oh. Yeah, I see it. You leave this to me until you have a friend to go. Okay. Hey, Scott, let's go, and, um, let's go out for a while and let Hannah and Shane there not to come back to the house for a while and if we have to roll up the police. Let's go. Okay. Okay. No. Just think about anything you're doing, just think about it for once. Ugh. So who who the hell are you? I'm the guy that's gonna help you realise that you're under some dark spell. And first to break it, I need to get to you personally. And then after that, well, I need to go and find the power source and destroy it. And hopefully everything will go back to normal. So please don't make me use this on you. Anyway. Look now, I know that this seems hard, but you need to think about everything in your life. From what happened at Easter, to Christmas, and what fun you may have this summer. You love maths, don't you? Like, you're that guy. So, just think about what you're going to do. Alright then. Because you've got these powers and you're turning evil. These powers, how you feel, it could kill you. Because a human being can really take this. Hundreds of humans have taken these powers before. You know what happened also? They died. They did. Oh, how long? Some, a day, less or even lesser, just for one second. The best people who lived with it, lived through it for about two years and then died on Christmas Day. Because that's how it goes and wonder why these powers got born on Christmas Day it did. But, 
you need to think about this. I have to use this on you, but not in the way that you and the people watching think. Oh, God, what's happening to me? I can tell you what's happening to you, nerd or evil person. My personal words have gotten to you and the power is draining out of you and they're going to go out and find someone else. Now, they actually have some common sense to know that they don't mess with anyone that's linking with me or even Batman or even Adam. So, now it's been linked out and now I can actually track the source and destroy it. Thank you. And, well... <sighs> This shouldn't take long, right? Oh yeah, we've got other stuff to do today. Mm. What's happened? I... Wait, I know you. You're that Power Ranger guy, aren't you? Well, oh, hello, no. Um, my name is Jason, one of your Power Rangers. Um, one of the popular ones, but now I just don't really do that anymore. So I'm, I still have the power range of powers, it's just I like living a normal life I do. Anyway, I was sent here to help you because you had that dark magic in you, now I guess my work here is done. If you may, go and let your friends know that you're all okay and nothing to worry about. I'll let Bruce know for Adam. Anyway, see you around. Bye bye. Um, okay. Alright, I will do. Alright. Man, thank god that's over. Man, I hope nothing else like that happens like that again today. Uh, then I'm gonna let them know that I'm okay. I'll phone them. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh, hey Adam. Just thought I should come to you and have lunch and talk about stuff. And yes, I'm okay now. Really? Oh, okay, well we're just walking home right now. Uh, do you want to tell us when we get back? Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Alright then, so, we are home. Uh, no, would you like to tell us what happened when the Power Ranger was here? Jason, to be precise? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, so what happened was that I got, he told me that I was under this spell, which was dark magic from the first ever Power Ranger. And because he told me this, he told, he told me that he had to speak to me in personal words, and then that actually worked. It did. So, I was free, but he told me that even though I was free, the dark magic won't affect anyone that I know, it only affects someone else and the cycle will go on and on again. There are, he also told me there are two ways to kill it. You go to the power source of the first one and totally destroy it. And second, when it gets into someone's body, if you can't get it out, you basically explode the body you do, but that also traps it. Because it usually it just leaves, but it needs about four seconds to leave. If you don't, if you kill it, kill the body under four seconds, it dies with it. So yes. So to be more precise, you're under a spell and now you're okay. Well, yes, I'm fine. I'm good. That's very good to hear. But that's I got an email once for that. Telling me that he's already destroyed the power source while he got Superman to do it, and now everything's back to his normal state. Alright, shall we go and um, see Spider Man Homecoming, guys? Yeah. Alright then, let's go.